What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to take this cup of Plastisol and we're going to make the best crappy bait you've ever seen. Let's do it. <music> So we finally hit 4,000 subscribers. I just want to take a second to thank everybody. Never thought this would be possible. We've been at this almost two years now and it's honestly growing really good right now. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I just wanted to thank everybody for subscribing and I can't believe we hit 4,000. So I appreciate everybody. I appreciate all the orders. You know, I love making them. I love the feedback we get from our jigs, and I'm glad everybody's catching fish on them. So let's get back to the video. So when you're thinking of bait making, the number one thing that honestly keeps me going, that keeps me up at night is how do you create the best bait for the best scenario you know we've created crappy man green which works 365 days a year i've proved this on this channel they they seem to always want to bite it now there's some days where they bite monkey milk more than crappy man green i don't control the crappy's brain that's just what happened that's why you buy both colors but at night when i'm sitting there trying to go to sleep i'm like and my brain's like, dude, the crappy bite of minnow. Make something that looks like a minnow. I'm like, well, do I need to do dual colors? Which are coming soon. I've been saying that for a while. They're coming soon. But I want to create a simple one-shot jig that has all the qualities of a minnow. Now, this jig's probably not going to look like a minnow, but I want to make it look like a minnow. I mean, I, that, that's hard to say. Now, the jig Purple Haze, I'm going to use the same process I created this jig. Uh, this jig is based off of Shad, and it catches freaking hounds, which I've proven in the past. I've caught uh, two or three two-pounders on that color, so... It's a good jig so today I mean we're, we're using a very little amount of plastic and I didn't record when I made purple haze I just recorded the final product so we're gonna take we're gonna break down a minnow and that's what we're gonna add to this plastic let's see what it turns out to be looking at a minnow I mean you basically got don't be hating on my drawing skills you know, you've got a minnow with a tail, and he comes up here, that's his face. He's got a little fin right there. Yeah, y'all, yeah, man, I can draw better than that, let me tell you. But anyway, on the bottom of a minnow, right around here, you got white. So, and on the top, it's kind of like multicolored reflection, kind of like purple and rainbow. So we can work with that. So purple... and rainbow all right now in the middle right here almost every toughy minnow i don't know all the names of them creek chubs they have a black line through the middle now i'm not going to be able to replicate that with a one shot if i was doing dual colors i'd be able to replicate that but at the same time i would have to do it like three times and that's a lot of time <clears throat> so the colors we're working with is white purple rainbow and black so how do we 
make that into something but i i need it to be a little bit brown too cuz they get kind of brown on top right here there's a little bit of brown and then there's a bunch of scales so brown also i don't know the best thing to do is to heat up the plastic and smallly add stuff Let's see what we can figure out We are at the right consistency. See, it just flows off of there. So now we start adding our colors. So we've got white, black, brown, rainbow, purple. So let's start. Let's give it a little bit of purple first. Just a little bit of purple glitter. Start things off real fine. Let's give it a little touch. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to give it a little pearl in it. So, this is going to be our white, just a touch of pearl and then after pearl we're going to use some blue highlight powder now I say we didn't need blue but this is going to be our brown because when blue highlight powder is turned into the light it has a little brown reflection all right now we need some rainbow gotta find it there it is so we'll add a little bit of rainbow flake a little bit more and now we just need black let's see what we got going on so we'll take a little bit of this black glitter add it don't want a lot just a tad now gonna mix the concoction up Alright, so we've got all the colors we want mixed in this one little jar. Put it down just a little bit. There we go. Mixing it up. And honestly, it's kind of like a, a silvery rainbow. <laughs> Honestly, I want to add just a little bit more black to it. I don't believe it's got enough black. That sh should be good right there. Alright, I believe she's ready to shoot. We're going to heat it back up. Shoot it into the molds and let's see what we created, guys. Alright, 
let's shoot them. We're just going to do the two, two mil mold right now. So now we give it a, just a few seconds to let it solidify. Now let's see what we created, guys. I mean, honestly, you might think, well, that's simple. You know, you just put whatever color that you thought. Yeah, that's pretty much what we did. I took every color from a minnow, put it into some liquid, and we'll see what you turned out to look like. <laughs> All right, let's see. Moment of truth. Kind of looks like a minnow to me. I'll take some better pictures up and throw them up above me right now. But that honestly doesn't look bad. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot a couple runs of these and... We'll get back with you. So, what do you guys think? You know, I think it turned out good. Now, I have this thing where I'm not going to put them up on a website until I go catch fish on them. I got, I got to know if they're going to catch fish. So, the only way you're going to be able to get these right now is... I'm actually putting the starter box together for a customer that ordered it uh, yesterday or day before yesterday. And look, they're going straight in. Boom. So, this guy is going to be the first one. So, if you're watching, if your order ships before this video comes up, you're going to have it. So, in order to get these, until I go out on the water and test them, order a starter box, I'll throw you five in, uh, or throw you ten in if I shoot some stinkers and stuff with it but we need a name guys like what what should we call this it's kind of translucent silvery rainbowy and it just gives off a, a brown tint and that's what I wanted it's gonna work but let me know a name down in the comments below if you want to get your hands on these before I even go test them Order a starter box, starter box within the next two weeks of this video posting and they will go in it. But if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button for me. Subscribe down below and I'll catch you on the next one.